Okay, so I have got a question here from someone called Panagiotis. Sorry if that's not how you pronounce it. That's my uh, best attempt. Um, I would like to ask you for good practices when covering a situation or conversation of two or three people for an observational documentary, both video and sound, with one camera. Okay, so uh, there's two questions there, I guess. Uh, one with the video and, and the other, the audio. So let's cover the video part first. So... So we've got two or three people. Let's let's imagine we've got two people like this uh, talking to each other. This person talking to this person. If you shoot the entire thing uh, from say here on a, on a mid shot, and you get both people in in shot, you won't miss anything that's being said. The problem is is that there is nothing for the editor to cut to. You've got to remember with these things that you know in a normal documentary you can cut away to a something else, you know, like another interviewee or a graphic or whatever whatever else it might be. In an observational documentary, there's literally nowhere else to go. So, <clears throat> so as the cameraman, you've got to supply all of the building blocks necessary to make the edit. To do that, here's your two people talking again. Um, you've got to create as many different shots as you can. So, Rather than shoot here and get them both in, you really want to be shooting here. So if you're so shooting over this person's shoulder and you're shooting this face as a single, and then you'd move to this position and shoot back this way and get another sing single shot. And you keep varying those between this shot here and that shot there. And, and you can get some here as well with both of them, but th these are your main shots, that shot and that shot. Obviously never go over here, that's crossing the line and will make a mess. So you, so you stay on everything on this side. Um, so you've got your shots, you, you also want to vary the size of the shots, you know, don't shoot everything on a mid, try to kind of punch in nice and tight and then loosen up and that will give your editor sort of nice places to kind of cut in and it will give the sense of a, of a complete pitch with lots of different size shots. Um, you know, another thing that makes things easy is a non-sync shot. So, um, let's say you're, the conversation is really heated, and at that moment, you just want to keep keep where the action is, right? So you stay with these. Then, in, in, invariably, there's going to be a flat section where they're talking about something that you just know isn't going to make it onto television because it's boring. When that's happening, that's your opportunity to get cutaways, anything that will... Uh, you know, enhance uh, in, enhance the scene and make the scene work. So at that point, when it gets a bit boring, maybe you're going to shoot something that they've been talking about. Maybe it's the whatever it might be, some some kind of um, cutaway shots, whether it's they're talking about some car or or a house or whatever whatever is in the background. You can go and get that. The other thing to do at this moment is to shoot a non-sync wide. So get back, get some distance, get both of them in shot, make sure you cannot see what they are saying, you don't want to see their lips moving and be able to work it out, you need to be far enough away, you can't make it out, maybe get something in the foreground, have that in focus, these guys are out of focus, so that so that shot can be used in the edit to cover anything. Um, and I think the most important thing in these sorts of um, kind of observational uh, programs is listen to what's being said and it's really easy um, not to do that because you're concentrating on the, the shot and one thing and another but if you've got headphones in, even if you've got a sound recorder, have headphones in, listen to what's being said and that should inform what you're shooting. Right. So if you have a situation where, let's imagine you've got a doctor and uh, you know the doctor's talking to the patient and he says you know you've got a week to live, right? Um, at that moment, you don't really want the doctors, you don't need the doctor saying it too much, you might, you know, have a little bit of him talking, but the main thing is you want the patient, what, the reaction shot, right? So, remember you have the audio, so it doesn't matter if you're not pointing at the person that's talking, you're pointing at the, at the person receiving the information, that's where the reaction is. So think about what's being said, and it should inform what you shoot. Another thing might be, you know, let's imagine you're shooting a cop show or something and, you know, the cop is saying, hey, what, there's something on your back seat, what, what, what's that, you know? Obviously, that could turn out to be important, that could be a huge bag of drugs or something, and if you don't have a shot of that thing, 
it's going to make it hard for the editor. So, you know, e either you're, either, either it's a fluid thing and you're shooting this person talking and then that one, and then you pan away and show the thing they're talking about, the drugs in the back of the car. Or if that's not possible, you wait for a flat moment, move away from the conversation and go and go and shoot that thing, whatever that thing is, whether it's a bag of drugs in the back of the car or, or whatever it is. Um, you know, and or, always keep rolling. That's another thing. So even, let's imagine this conversation gets a bit boring and you think, oh, I'm just going to walk over here and shoot that or shoot that. Um, keep keep going, never button off because the audio could be useful. They might say something interesting. Remember, you've still got all these non-sync shots that will cover that bit of audio and then you can move back and start shooting again if it, if, if it becomes, you know, what you think it might be usable or more interesting for the programme. Um, the other thing to think about is that there's a sort of a temptation to to only ever shoot who's talking, you know, so this guy's talking, you're shooting him, that guy's talking, you're shooting him, and you just keep doing that. The issue with that is that you, you need some listening shots, you can't just have them talking, it's actually, um, you know, the listening shots are really, really useful, so sometimes just hold on this person, maybe they're talking, maybe, they, maybe they're talking and you're filming them, then they stop talking and they're listening, get that listening shot because that listening shot can be used anywhere um, in the whole conversation. Uh, so that's another thing to keep doing. Um, what else? Uh, I think that, that'll do. That, that, that's, that, 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 gives you, that gives you an idea. So like, just to let, let me recap on those things. So, so one, shoot single shots, not a two shot. Vary the shot size. Capture kind of non-sync footage wherever you can on cutaways and things like that. Listen to what's being said and let that inform what you shoot. Uh, get reactions, get listening shots, and keep rolling all of the time. You know, in the, it, back in the days of tape, you know, you'd be more cautious. But these days, digital, you, you know, there is no need to, to button off, especially not on an observational documentary, so just keep rolling. Okay, the... Next point you uh, asked about was sound. Uh, get a sound recordist, but you know, if someone just turns up and you might have, say, one of those people mic'd or both on a radio, and then somebody turns up who isn't mic'd, you're gonna hear nothing of what they're saying. Therefore, you know, if you've got a sound recorder, they can be recording both people on radios, and they can boom this new person coming in. Um, so that's the best solution, but you did say um, how to do this with one camera and sound, so let's uh, talk about how you do that if you didn't have a sound recordist. In that event, I would say, really, you would have one radio mic on whoever your main character is. So as we, the example we used before was a, a cop show, so if you were shooting a cop show, you might have the, you know, the policeman's on a radio uh, and the other person or the other people you just have to try to get on your top mic from the camera. I mean, there will, there will be a little bit of spill, so if, let's say that the, the policeman is standing right next to the person, there'll be a little bit of spill onto his mic, so you will pick up something. Um, but the good thing about the top mic on a camera is that it, it it's not channeled in, in, in a kind of street, it, it, it's, a, it's a sort of a rounded sound, so it's going to pick up a lot of sound from just generally near where you are, so if you, you know, obviously bear that in mind. And if you, if you've got someone that's a long way away, trying to move towards them with the camera, and then you're you're going to pick up some sound from it. Um, but it, it's difficult, you know, doing doing a job like that without a, a recorder is, is tricky. So um, that's it. Hopefully, um, hopefully, there's some tips you can use there. And um, yeah, best of luck with it.